the parents of the bride, Mr. and Mrs. Craig Walder. thing with to the man and woman coming together and that being my daughter and my new son Darren we just thank you for the, the blessing here tonight everyone being here those that have come out to to share in this moment father we thank you for this this time we pray for the, the future the blessing on them. We thank you for the food tonight that we're going to enjoy, the drink that we're going to enjoy, the music that we're going to enjoy, the fellowship and the friendships that are created tonight of two families blending together, and the friends that we're also close to, and we look at them as family as well. And we thank you, Father. It has been such a, a tremendous journey of raising a, a daughter and I know for Steve and Eileen raising a son for this moment, to this day, of a new life, a new, a new bond. We thank you for that and ask God's blessing upon tonight. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.
thing they do is like, even if it's a little too much. <laughs> you don't want to know. But it's a good thing. I, I love that they are always exactly what you see is what you get. And um, 
Well, we've just gotten really close over the last five years, and I've been the slave of honor uh, for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> on her back are from me. <laughs> They're fresh. <laughs> um, but, so, I've seen a lot of Kristen and Darren over the years, and we just always get into a lot of crazy stuff, and I won't go into that either. <laughs> but, um, I, Kristen told me something the other day when I asked her um, how she felt about Darren after being with him for seven years, and I think it's, um, I think it's more true than all the sweet and mushy stuff. She said, some days I want to punch him in the face, but <laughs> I still love him. <laughs> I know you'll always be happy because you're just you're just meant to be. Thank so you. So congratulations. Yeah. If everybody uh, can find a comfortable spot for a moment, I, you know, I don't want to be long-winded. I can be at times. <laughs> but I, you know, my intention is louder, not to louder. be long-winded. A little louder on the mic. say about what I've seen through the years with uh, Krista and, and with Darren. Uh, within this toast that I have, I have a song that I want to sing to you as well. Um, it's been on my mind and heart for a long time. <laughs> Say it's, it's dark. And, uh, 
and you just want the best for them. And, and I think she's got the best. Amen. I do. Yeah. And, and, I that, uh, and, and this is to all of you as well. You know, both of these young people here are who they are today because all of you have had some significant influence in their lives. You all have made a very significant contribution to who they are. Except for me. Except for you. <laughs>
children, you know. give you one last note here. I know you and me have met a lot to each other over the years, being far away and everything else. I do wish you guys the best and uh, all the happiness. And I love you absolutely, Darren. You're a very lucky man. You guys take care and God bless you guys. Hi, Darren. Hi, Crystal. We are so excited for both of you. And we know God is going to bless your marriage. And um, if you need anything, Ben and I are here for you. We have known you for three and a half years now and we have loved every minute with you and we know that you have been put together for a reason and we just pray that everything goes well and that you will continue to grow and to mature and to prosper and that and God to be will silly use, and to be silly <laughs> and to enjoy good beer and that God will use you in amazing ways and we love you both. Kristen, Darren, uh, this has been an incredible, incredible day. Again, as I said in the toast time, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of having Darren as a son-in-law. I'm so proud of having you, Krista. Uh, I, I wish both you and Darren the very, very best. And, and as I mentioned to you at, at, the, at the altar, yeah, that uh, keep Christ first in your life. And I know things will go well for you, too. And I love you both. Your mom and I, again, are both very proud. And, and welcome to the family, Darren. Thank you. We love you kids and we wish you the very best. Right? Right. And uh, Hallelujah. And we hope we have some more great grandchildren someday. I'm so proud and I love you both. You've been uh, in our lives for the last seven years and you two are so awesome and we love you. All right, Krista, I just want to say I love you so much, and I'm so glad I was able to be a part of your wedding party. We had an absolute blast, and I wish you the absolute best throughout your entire life with Darren, and I know you guys are going to do awesome. I love you, darling. Bye-bye. All right, Krista and Darren, I love you guys, and I wish you the best of luck, and we will always be good friends, so I've had a lot of fun with you guys, and hope everything goes great. Love you. Let's celebrate. It's all right, baby. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Let's celebrate. It's all right. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Let's celebrate. It's all right.
Darren and Krista, congratulations on your wedding and thank you for letting me be a part of it. Wish you many happy years and uh, just invite us over sometime. We'll have you over to our place. Thanks, guys. Hey, Krista. Hey, Darren. It's me, your favorite maid. Um, <laughs> maid. I'm a maid and a mistress. Hey. <laughs> um, I wish you all the happiness and lots of love in your new apartment. Tra la la with that queen bed of yours. Um, think of me on Kiowa and uh, use those presents we gave you, Krista. All right. Krista and Darren, um, I know you guys are going to have a lot of awesome adventures and we've had a lot of them already, so I'm really excited for you and I look forward to the future. Yep, yep. <laughs> Krista, Darren, I just want to say congratulations and I love you both. And uh, man, I've known you for seven years or more, you know, it's just like, wow. When I first met you, I was thinking, oh, another guy, Krista in Krista's life, you know, I was thinking, you know, it might last a long time, but it might end, you never know. But um, it's just, it's, it's amazing how you guys stayed together this long. And uh, I love you both. And Krista, I'm going to miss you at home. <laughs> I'll keep mine in my room. Love you guys. So, this is your day, dude. Like, totally never seen this coming. But uh, I love you. And this is it. I hope you guys just have a happy life. Show me up. Love you. Bye. I would like to just say I love y'all. I care about y'all. It comes from my heart, Trisha's, Aaron, Carson's. We wish y'all the best of luck. Anything y'all ever need, call on us. We hope to stay very close and have a very long life with y'all. I can't wait to spend vacations, everything with y'all. I hope we stay, as I said, close. And I love y'all. Bye. Hi, Darren and Krista, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. I love you both. Darren, we couldn't be happier with you. We just thank you that you are treating Krista so nice and that you love her and that you put up with her spending habits. <laughs> she got that from her dad, you know that. I'm just keeping that on record so it's not from me. Um, Krista, honey, you're my girl. We had been through a lot together, a lot of fun times, a lot of road trips, and a lot of girly girl things. Honey, you're special. Your dad and I couldn't be more happy with you and your choices, and we just give the Lord Jesus Christ thank you and praise because you are doing good. I guess I can't say more than that. Anyway, honey, we love you. Darren, welcome to the family. We have gotten to love your family this last couple days because we've been talking with them a lot and um, all your extended family. Anyway, blessings to you. We love you. Bye-bye. Hi, Kristen, Darren. We are so proud of you, love you, and we know that you're going to have a wonderful life together. And just remember that we're always here for you. Love you.